So people are, you, you know, when I was superintendent, people used to say, oh, you know, what is it you want for your kids? What is it, what, is, what do you really want? And so I was, I said, you know what, it's, it's sort of simple. I want four things. If a kid graduates from the Milwaukee Public Schools and wants to go to college, I would like for them to be able to go to college and not spend their first year in remedial education. Could they go in the English 200 instead of 10XX? And for those kids, secondly, who didn't want to go to college, I wanted them to have the capacity to get a job that would potentially, that was back when there were jobs uh, in America, <laughs> to get a job that would pay like a living wage for themselves and their family. But I felt in my heart that whichever one of those two paths they went on, they all needed to have the same rigorous education. That it wasn't about finding the one that's good with their hands. You know what they told Malcolm, you know, y'all good with your hands. It, 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 it wasn't that. Because what I was thinking was, you know what? Even if you decide to become an electrician, which is a great thing, and any of y'all who done paid any of them to come do anything in your house lately know it's a great thing. But the reality of it is, to be an electrician, whatever you want to be in today's world, you need a rigorous education. But you know what the other part of it was? I knew, and y'all know, that you get out of high school, oh, I ain't going to college. I don't want to go to college. Three or four years down the road, I want to go to college. And then all of a sudden you want to go, but you haven't taken a single course that will allow you to go. So my thing was, I don't, I don't care which one of those two paths they take, I want them to have the same rigorous education. The third thing is, I would like some of my kids to have an entrepreneurial spirit. That they would come out not saying, where can I find a job? But they would come out saying, I can create a job. And I used to tell all my kids, like, hey, I want y'all to do well and do good. You know, this whole idea, I want y'all to be rich. That's what I used to tell them. And I was, I was serious. And, and, and I wanted all of them to be working. And, and, you know, like the closer you get to Social Security, the more important it becomes <laughs> that everybody's working. So, so but, but, I, but I, wanted, I wanted some of my kids to come out saying, hey, you know what? I can create jobs. I can do this. But the fourth path was no matter what you do in the other three, I wanted them to be able to do what Paulo Freire called the practice of freedom. Because in his book, Pedagogy of the Oppressed, in the foreword of that book, Richard Shaw talks about, like, what is the purpose of education? The purpose of education is not to develop our young people to conform to the existing order. The purpose of education is to give them the skills and the capacity that they need to engage in the practice of freedom, the transformation of their world.